What's up everyone? Welcome to Buzz Games. Buzz Games, Beth here. Today let's learn how to make a start screen. So anytime you hop into a game or your game, you have to press play in order for the game to start. So first off, what we're going to do is head over to lighting. And then we're going to add an object called blur. And with this blur effect that you're adding, it obviously just blurs your entire screen. And you can change the intensity of, the intensity of it by heading over to the properties menu. And then once you've found a set number that you like, let's go ahead and move on. Head over to starter GUI and we'll be adding a screen GUI. And inside of that, we're going to add an image button. You could add a text button here if you want, but for me, I'm just going to do an image button. Cool. And then the image that I'm going to use is just a simple image button that I photoshopped. It's just a simple play button. I'm going to go ahead and paste the asset ID over there, the image ID. You got to make sure you have to upload the image that you want to use on roblox.com for in order for you to um, paste that into your image. So yeah, so I have this button pretty simple. I'm going to resize it. So that's in the middle of the screen. I don't like this white background. So it's really simple. All I got to do is set the background transparency of it to one. Sweet. So now it's transparent and it's just simply the button. Cool. Looks good so far. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add a text label just so that people know what to do. <laughs> um, so this is for my useless game ever called click the button. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. This is obviously uh, optional, but for me, I'm just going to do click the button. Now we're going to go ahead and add a local script inside of our image button. We have three variables, which references our button, the blur effect inside of lighting and our text label. So now when everybody hops inside of the game, their walk speed is going to be equal zero. So players won't be able to walk if the starting screen is visible. So now we have a function where if they press the play button, then their walk speed will be back to normal, which is 16 and the text text label will be false the blur effect will be false and then the button will not be visible ah and then make sure uh, your walk speed it's capital w and capital s all right let's hop inside of our game to test it out nice it works i can't move i can move the camera but i can't move anywhere so i have to press the play button in order for me to move and there you go it works <laughs> sweet so as always have fun creating if you enjoyed this content please leave a like comment and give us a subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace